All right, here we go again. Another college lecturer ripping members of our military and those that send care packages overseas. That could be you. This week, in a letter published in the Iowa State Daily, Thomas Walker writes this, quote, doesn't the U.S. Army, uh, uh, doesn't the Army, uh, let me check out this right, doesn't the U.S. Army victual its soldiers? Don't their families send them Yuletide goodies? Aren't GIs paid enough to buy what they want? Necessity should be doled out to people who really need them. And that's only part of it. Walker went on to rip Republicans, asking why they are the ones supporting, quote, uh, hapless veterans. The letter has outraged so many people, including our next guest. Mark Seavey joins us now, is the new media director for the American Legion and a U.S. Army veteran. Mark, you thought this was a joke at first, right? Yeah, I actually had to look a couple times. I thought it might be an onion piece or something. I, I figured, you know, this, this guy's not just stuck on stupid. He's encased in it. So and, he says uh, you guys have enough money. Go buy your own cookies. Buy your own blankets. I, he apparently is under the mistaken impression that there's a Target and a Walmart on every Afghanistan corner, and that's just not the case. Uh, and even above and beyond that, it's not really getting the items that are in the care packages as much as it is the intent of the sender. And when you receive that... Uh, you know, it makes you feel good. And there's a lot of our soldiers over there who, who don't have a, a support family network that some of them have. And that's why organizations like the American Legion, Soldiers Angels, Books for Soldiers, and other groups are there to make sure that none of these uh, soldiers go without packages, particularly during the, the Christmas season. You were deployed before, Mark. What does it mean? Uh, it means a lot to get, uh, to get packages. You know, when you're in Bosnia or Afghanistan like I was, there are times when you have, you know, a, a lot of time on your hands with nothing to do. So getting packages, reading letters from, from young school kids, or, or getting a, a little bit of food instead of an MRE is, is a very special thing for you. Yeah, now, two kinds of groups are contacting you, I understand. Groups that send out packages and other people who are involved somehow affiliated with Iowa State and are embarrassed. Uh, absolutely. I, this, this guy's approval rating is about the same as LeBron James in Cleveland. Uh, the the <laughs> Iowa State alumni and, and students are just up in arms. And I, I really think it's a shame that it brings discredit on the school. It's much like the Suffolk Law professor that did this a couple of weeks ago. The first person I heard from was a Suffolk Law alumni who said, please don't hold this against our school. So mm -hmm. I want to be very clear, the, it's not the Iowa State community that's the problem. It's this one you know, knucklehead who, uh, who said some very ill-advised things, I would say. And that knucklehead's name is Thomas Walker. Here, we want to get him on and get, find out what he really, if he wants to expand on this or take you on. And here's what we got in response from the Iowa State's president. Uh, he says this, Please understand that Mr. Walker's opinions do not in any way represent Iowa State University. And as a military veteran myself, I strongly disagree with his comments. I do, however, respect every individual's right to freedom of speech, which is so highly valued in our nation. We also have an opportunity, too, to evaluate that freedom of speech, don't we, Mark? Yeah, we absolutely do. And he, he, it, demonstrably what he says is true. It's, it still uh, doesn't exonerate this guy from the things. You certainly have a constitutional right to do many stupid things. It doesn't make it a, a well-advised uh, course of action. Hey, you want to know what he said? Uh, not surprisingly, he did not come on. Here's exactly what he said to us when we contacted him. I do not want, nor do I warrant notoriety. However, I don't want to see my viewpoint sensationalized. Well, we're just bringing it out. It's up to you to respond. If you want to contract, uh, contact Thomas Walker. Let's take a look at how to do that. Why don't you write him? Uh, 206 Ross Hall, Ames, Iowa, 511. So 50011. Five, if you want to call him, 515-294-3568, 515-294-3568. If you're driving, please pull over. And T. Walker at iastate.edu. So we have many ways to contact him. Let's see if uh, it will be sensationalized or just notarized. We'll see. Mark C.V., thanks so much. Thank you, sir. And thanks for your service. Thank you. Meanwhile, straight ahead.